can have a lot of stuff in this room, but not anymore. I've gotten rid of a lot. I've gotten rid of a lot of this stuff. Really, there's really not much more in there. I used to have a bag of art stuff. You know, like markers and too many notebooks full of unlined paper. But now, and it used to be inside of this bag, I'm donating a good portion of my art stuff to those who might actually use it. And then all I have left is just this one, one little small thin suitcase full of art stuff. Honestly, I'm really proud of myself for getting rid of the stuff that I'm not going to use anymore. I mean, I still have notepads and markers and pencils and paper and more paper. But I'm also getting rid of the stuff that, you know, people could use. Like this. I mean, I still have something. first. I 
they're in great condition because I don't use them. I mean, what are you going to do whenever people ask you what you want for Christmas and all you say is notebooks and paper and then that's what you get and then you're like, wait, I got way too many notebooks and paper. Can we slow down a little bit? Maybe I shouldn't have asked for them in the first place. <gasps> I know, I know. I thought of something else to say, and I'm not even in my outfit anymore. And only the gloves and the head, and it looks a little weird. Maybe I should have kept it on while I was thinking, but whatever. I can do this, can you? That's besides the point. Pat myself on the back and say, hey, you cleaned up. You know, that thing you do pretty much every day after work. You do it again, but you're more thorough about it. And on top of that, you got rid of some things. Maybe you're a little bit of a hoarder. Maybe you keep some things you shouldn't. And I guess it was just a way for me to be able to say, it's okay if I let some stuff go, because it won't really affect me if they're gone. And if someone else can find some use for them, unlike me, well, that's even better. And you know, I only have a little bit more. I actually downsized a lot. Believe it or not, I used to have so many more toys. But this is like pretty much the extent of it. These can toys. It's just nice to know that every once in a while I get a little different. Every once in a while, people change their clothes. I just want it to be a little bit less excessive in what I consider to be necessary in my life. It feels nice. Probably. Eventually. I mean, it's not that bad. Some of the stuff I'm getting money for, so it makes it better. I should also probably stop trying to hold this while I'm making these, so I don't always look like this. But it's just so much easier to keep it in my paws. So that way whenever I want to do something, like stop, pause, switch the camera around, it'll be easier. But it just looks kind of silly in my hand all the time. Oh well. I'll find a use for that too. Well, yeah, I am bragging. I'm telling people that I'm donating stuff and selling things and giving my stuff away, I am definitely bragging. I just want someone to hear me. I was home alone a good portion of the day, and I've got my rabbit, and I talked to her. But sometimes I just want somebody else to know, hey, you, over there. You, my new friend, did you know today that I cleaned and organized an awkward part of my house and we'll be getting rid of some things so as to declutter my home and make it look more organized so that instead of looking trashy and like the beginner of a hoarding story, it instead looks like I have a few interests and hobbies and they don't fill up my whole life. Like, oh, I don't know, something akin to hoarding, especially when you don't sell them afterwards, and you just kind of let them mold in your closet. You never 
and use them ever. You know. Life. 